I met with the musician, entrepreneur, and member of the World Economic Forum's Global AI Council, Will I Am, to talk data and the fourth industrial revolution. People are worried about losing their jobs because of AI, because of technology. What would you say to them? We've been here before. And for every new technology, there's, there's a new renaissance, new jobs come. Yes. And we are in a new renaissance. We're in the fourth industrial revolution and there'll be jobs that we can't even imagine right now. But we can't have a pessimistic um, attitude about it. We have to be optimistic and we have to encourage um, the youth to dream and invent on top of this new technology. That's what's going to create the jobs. Now, well, of course, you're globally known as an incredibly successful artist, but you're also founder and chief executive of I Am Plus. You just announced a collaboration. Tell me about that. So um, I started I Am Plus about five and a half years ago, and we created an artificial intelligence voice operating system. The artificial intelligence that we're focused on is natural language understanding, natural language processing the ability to speak naturally to a machine um, and not have to you know, go about it the, the, the other paths with you know, trackpads, keyboards, or swiping on your iPhone. Uh, just naturally speaking and not speaking to it like a robot either. And we partnered up with um, Majad al Futain who invested in IM Plus and the partnership um, goes to you know, dream up new ways for customer experiences in retail. What's your own vision, Will? Where would you like all this technology and AI to take us? So right now, we're missing something, each, each and every one of us, right? So we make all this data. We're responsible for companies being like mega companies worth hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars because data is value, yes. but we're not retaining it. We're not compensated by the data. It's like, if I was really poor and I could sell my blood for money, my data is being sold right now to whom I don't know. Um, that, that is the business model of these large companies. But I don't think you can have that tomorrow because trust is a, is a big part of tomorrow. You have to trust the companies. You have to trust the tools and the um, services that we're going to be using. Do you think the companies like your Facebooks and Googles and Amazons have lost trust? There's this cloud around what they're doing with our data. They should be just as open and transparent as the things you consume because you're consuming yep. um, on, on those platforms. And via consumption, you know, you leave a data trail and I should benefit from that. So what would you say to a Zuckerberg or a Schmidt or it's impossible for these big companies to quickly change their business model. That's awesome, I cool, I get it. Yeah. But there's an opportunity for new entrepreneurs, new types of services, AI for humanity, right? And benefiting those in communities uh, while they use these services and uh, inventing new types of services is, is what I'm pushing for, right? You don't have to follow um, the herd. What's the sort of the human cost in terms of interaction? Because I think the, the perception of AI is do we lose a human connection? It can't give better than us. It can't love better, better than us. It can't, you know, guide and mentor better than us on a human level. And it's about time we have something that pushes us to be more human. Look at a lion. It pushes us to be more stronger. A bird pushes us to, like, soar the skies. Yes. And AI is going to push us to be emotionally intelligent and you know hopefully deeper spiritually